Alrighty, here's the second attempt at the Ice Pick video review. I had the original one. You're just getting unedited videos for this one in my Rockman because I had them both shot, put all the effort into editing them. I put them up on YouTube, and somewhere in YouTube's processing um, on Ice Pick, the audio cut out um, about a minute into the review. So hopefully that won't happen on this one. Uh, but I'm not going to put all the little pictures and stuff at the beginning and end. Not because I don't care for you guys, but because, like, it's 3 in the morning. I've just spent about four hours shooting and editing and uploading videos only to have them turn out bad. And um, I'd like to get these up so you can see them. So, uh, so here is uh, Ice Pick with Sergeant Chaos. Um, the bio on the box mentions that Ice Pick is now uh, looking for something to do since his combiner team was, has been destroyed which would seem to imply that uh, Power Core Combiner Ice Pick was also a, uh, not a snowmobile, but like a snow vehicle, um, has now been reformatted into a Human Alliance figure for Dark of the Moon, on the same basic color scheme and everything. So supposed to, it looks like he's intended to be the same Ice Pick from Power Core Combiners. Now Sergeant Chaos here is just a standard uh, Human Alliance basic sized figure. He does have a Cool little helmet. We can get it to focus on him here. There's a magic. There we go. Um, just like that. Um, so just a little evil-looking dude. Um, he's got a couple of these weapons here that uh, look like spikes. You can stab somebody or maybe their guns. I don't know. Uh, but little weapons. You can clip them on here. You can clip them on back here. I don't like to clip them on back here because the clips are a little loose and. They're supposed to kind of be angled up, and they just keep falling back, and I kind of like the way they look up here on the front now that I've got them there. So, uh, there you go. Uh, and again, sorry, Chaos. Uh, he does have an intermediate mode of a weapon, which is pretty cool. Um, just take these off. Well, actually, we may end up reattaching them to the these here in a minute. Flip up these these bits right here. Uh, and you just come under here and pull this whole assembly down and around. Uh, just like this. Keep these all up here. Uh, basically you want to bring this around so this pegs right up in here under here. Um, and then you open up these panels, flip them around, and plug them back together this way. Uh, bring it up. Um, and essentially that's it to weapon mode. He's a, he ends up being a handheld chainsaw for our bigger robots. You can use these with deluxes. Uh, they do have mech tech ports and they'll fit in any mech tech uh, weapon hole. But um, I find that uh, they really look best on the leaders. And there, see here, you can clip these on to the skis again right up here and have these stick up just like this. And then once that's done, there's the weapon. And like I said, bigger class figure. So here's Leader Ironhide. I'll go ahead and just plug this in. Now you can plug it in like this and it sticks out. So far, um, there's a quick shot of him holding it. Um, what I like to do is rotate the uh, rotate this in a little bit, and you can let him hold it. Still got the same effect, all the fun stuff, um, just like this. But now it doesn't. It, it looks more like it's a, a handheld weapon as opposed to sticking out really, really far. Um, so there he is as a, as a chainsaw weapon. Uh, there's backfire again uh, as the handgun for Ironhide. So yeah. So there's him in weapon mode. And then to get to robot mode, you just want to come around here. Uh, flip, go ahead and flip this. Actually, leave this flipped up like that. Because it's going to work out better in robot mode that way. Uh, bring the legs down here. Just like this, go ahead and detach the, well, you don't want to detach the whole ski, you just want to detach the weapons. Uh, but the skis do just clip on. I guess you can conceivably use these as clip-on weapons too. Uh, these weapons do work with the clip system. On a lot of the Revenge of the Fallen... Oh, are you kidding me? Uh, you know, Revenge of the Fallen reveal the shield figures that use the clip system. Let me go down there and get that ski. Ugh. It's not one thing, it's another for me tonight. Jeez. Uh, clip that back on. Oh, come on. What now is going on? There we go. Okay. I see what happened there. Okay. 
Uh, but bring the legs down like this. Uh, bring this panel down like this. Um, and flip the skis up kind of there onto the chest. Bring this forward. Uh, split the arms back here. And bring them forward and around like this. Rotate the arm around. And that's why I had this rotated around. Because if you rotate, it sticks out like this. And, and up the other way, this kind of looks more like it's supposed to fit there on the back of his forearm. So that, uh, go ahead and open up the feet. The feet are very, uh, very techy, for lack of a more appropriate term. Uh, I'll flip his head up right here. I do be careful, he does like to pop off the ball joint. Um, I just want to line this up. This This little joint segment is going to fit right here in the slot. You just got to line it up so it snaps in. Um, just like that. And then you bring these up. You split these apart. And just kind of bring them up behind his uh, behind his shoulders. So he's got some cool little shoulder designs there. The chainsaw. And then you can attach these up here to his shoulder clip, clips if you manage to. Oh, these are what become the handlebars in vehicle mode. So you just clip these on up here. And there is Ice Pick in robot mode. Um, I, I like him. Uh, like I said, I think he, of, of the three I got today, he may be my second favorite. Um, I'm not sure. They're all fun. I'm really having a lot of fun with all of them. Uh, the Human Alliance Basics, just as as a line, is just a great line. They're they're all fun. I can't think of a single one that, uh, like I said, I think I said in the Tungsten review, or the Thunderhead review, that uh, Sandstorm might be the weakest. And uh, and I, and I and I stand by that. But like I said, even the weakest one of these guys is still pretty awesome. I mean, this entire line is really really good. Um, and Ice Pick is no exception. So there you have it. Um, Ice pick with Sergeant Chaos.